Hello, my name is Anthony and welcome to the White Box Geospatial YouTube channel. Today I'll be writing you a short tutorial on how to properly download and configure the White Box tools for QGIS plugin. So without further ado, let's get started. So in QGIS, you're going to want to navigate to the plugins directory and select manage and install plugins. This is where you can install and download plugins from. Today we're just going to be using the ability to search for the plugin, but commonly a lot of people will install a plugin from a zip file. You can do that with the white box tools for QGIS plugin. You'll just need to grab a copy of the, um, uh, grab the zip file from our official Python plugins repository and you can download the latest version and install it from a zip file there. However, we're just gonna search for the white box tools for QGIS plugin. There it is. Uh, you'll see its most recent version of 1.07, which was pushed out last week and it's maintained by John Lindsay and Alexander Bruy. So let's go ahead and install that. Once installed, you will see a confirmation on screen and you will also notice that the white box tools plugin is located in the processing toolbox now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna set the environment variable path to locate the white box tools binary so we can use all the functions in white box tools. But before we do that, we're gonna wanna make sure we download a fresh copy of the white box tools software and this the uh, software does not come pre-installed with the binary. So let's go ahead to let's go get ahead and navigate to the white box tools uh, white box geospatial homepage and download a fresh copy. So on the white box tools open core homepage, navigate to the download tab and then scroll down on the page where you have the option to download the white box tools or download white box tools open core. We do have the option for users to support the project. We do appreciate any and all support as it goes a long way into maintaining the longevity of the project. Recently, for those who have chosen to support the project at a level of $10 or more, we have acknowledged them on our download page. Each month, we will update the list of supporters, and for those that do it in the future, you will see your name on the download page. And thank you once again for doing that. So now we can go ahead and download the software. So now the software has been downloaded. So now I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder. There is the zip file and I'm just gonna extract it to a location on my computer where I access um, white box tools from, which is a test directory. I have called Anthony WBT tutorial. There is the file and I've just zipped it. Um, sorry, extracted it here. And there we see the binary. So let's head over back to QGIS and set that path. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to select QGIS and preferences, open the processing uh, tab and click on providers. There you'll see the white box tools provider. And we're gonna wanna go ahead and set the executable here. Just double click and you'll have the option to edit the path. And let's go grab that path, which is gonna be located in Anthony WBT tutorial, WBT, and actually the binary, you're gonna wanna click on it and select it. For those that are running a Windows machine, make sure you explicitly add the .exe uh, extension as it will not work if it's not set. So let's go ahead and select OK. And now the path has been set. So let's now confirm that we have successfully set the correct path and we have the plugin working. Let's go ahead and run a tool. So open the white box tools plugin. You'll see all the toolbox that are in the software. Let's just pick a tool in the geomorphometric analysis toolbox. And let's select a very common tool. Let's select the slope <coughs> slope algorithm. And let's select a test DEM. And we'll just call it uh, uh, testing video one, two, three, four, five, TIFF. Let's go ahead and run it. And here we have our underlying slope raster created. And now we've confirmed that everything is working. We've set the correct path and the plugin is um, working. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned how to properly download and configure the white box tools for QGIS plugin. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below in the comment section. And I will include all links that I use in this video. And thanks for watching.